Don't mind her. She was super nervous. Um, I brushed the eyebrows in the direction I wanted them to go. And then I filled them in with my dark brown brow pencil. Here I brushed the product through the eyebrow so that it would be evenly distributed. And then I did the same process for the other eyebrow. After I brush the product through the other eyebrow, I'm going to go ahead and start carving the eyebrows out with the concealer. I'm starting the eyebrow kind of towards the middle, kind of giving her a unibrow, but that just helps me make sure that both eyebrows are even. As y'all can see, <laughs> she is very uncomfortable. She does not wear makeup. This is a first time thing for her. So we started carving out the top of the eyebrow using a darker concealer, one that is closer to her skin color. Then we just blended out the concealer that we put under and above the eyebrow. Now we're going to place a light concealer all over her lid and we're going to blend it out. We're using this instead of using an eyeshadow primer. already mentioned this part we're blending it out just making sure that there's no harsh line between her natural under eye and the light concealer we just used now we're going into this BH cosmetics palette and I'm just using this brown as a transition shade So I'm going to take this color from the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place and I'm just going over the transition shade and I'm putting this in the crease. I wasn't going for a cut crease look today. I was going for something a little more blended. So I used this eyeshadow called Peach Suede by Tricosi University. That's the beauty school I got my license at. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to pat this all over the lid, both lids, and then later on I'm going to add a little flare to that. Now while patting this on, I wanted to make sure it came off very pigmented. So I did apply it as if I was doing a cut crease, but you'll see that I'm going to actually go back and blend those lines out. So I decided to go into the outer V's 
with a dark, dark brown. I blended that out because I just wanted to give the eye a little definition towards the corners. Sometimes the under eyebrow highlight kind of gets lost with your blending. So I always go back in, even if it didn't get lost, just to kind of brighten up under the eyebrow. I must say, this look was coming right along, okay, okay. So anyway, I went ahead and uh, gave her a wing liner. You know what I'm saying? Make them eyes pop a little bit. For her to be a person who wouldn't ever <laughs> wear makeup without me having to beg, um, she sat really well. She held her eyes really well. It was a few times where y'all might see her, you know, squint or whatever, but she did really well because I've had issues with people who wear makeup, you know what I mean? Like people squint because things are by their eyes. She did really well. Here, I was just applying some primer all over her face. In this look, I did not color correct any dark spots in her face. I just concentrate my foundation in those areas that need more coverage. So I used two different concealers for her lighter areas in her face. I used Medium Bisque and Cool Tan in the LA Girl Pro Concealer. So I took a flat foundation brush and I blended that concealer out. I then go back with the foundation brush that I use to apply the foundation all over her face and I blend out the edges of where the concealer was. I used a mix of Makeup Revolution setting powder and banana and Ben Nye setting powder and topaz and I mix those together and set her under eye areas and any other areas that I highlighted with the concealer. And then I took the Black Radiance Contour Palette and I used that shade to go all around her face because it was close to her um, skin color. So I used it almost as a setting powder for the rest of her face. I took the Ben Nye Setting Powder in Ebony and used that to contour. I used the same ebony shade to go down the nose. 
I didn't use a smaller brush because I did not want the nose to be too sculpted. I wanted it to be more of a soft glam look. I had her smile for me so that I could place blush around her cheek area. But I think that made her a little more uncomfortable because she was getting all antsy. But we were almost done. Hold on, y'all. We almost there. So for her highlight, I used Ben Nye Lumiere Powder in Aztec Gold. It's a loose pigment. So remember when I finished the eyes, I said I was going to go throw some flare on that later. Here I took the Ben Nye Lumiere powder in iced gold and I placed that all over the lid just to give it a little bit of shimmer. I also placed that in the corner of the eyes to brighten up the eye. I added some of that ice gold to the highlight that was already on her face and I did that just to kind of tie the look together. Then I used this brown matte lipstick to go and shape her lips. Use it almost like a lip liner. Then I added this light pink lip gloss from Gerard Cosmetics. Y'all know, when I'm going for a gloss look, I always come through with the Beauty Supply Store Max MAX clear lip glass bomb okay <laughs> isn't she lovely no i used the nyx dewy setting spray and set her entire face these lashes are the emerald lashes from the gym collection at kenzie beauty studio which is my salon Hell yeah, your shit broke. See? She hung up. <laughs> <laughs> you see what she did to me, man? She beat me, didn't she? <laughs> 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 